Hi guys, David Farmer here. And what we're going to look at is how to make a file that will loop uh, without popping. Uh, so take, for instance, this clip we have on the, on the timeline, and let's say we duplicate it. What we want it to have happen is this file play end to end and not pop but loop, uh, or play nicely anyway. So listen, listen to what happens. This is just some rumble. And listen what happens when we cross the boundary here, when I, where I hit the duplicate and sort of repeated the, the clip. You hear how it pops right there on this line? Well, we're going to fix it so that that doesn't happen. So let me delete that one. And now this is the easiest way I've ever found to do it. Now I'm showing this in Pro Tools, but it works in any workstation. The same principle applies. So what I'm going to do is anywhere in the beginning of this or anywhere in the file you want, really, I'm going to split the clip like this. I hit B in Pro Tools to split it. And I'm going to grab the front, slide it down here like this, and now put a crossfade here. And it's going to tell me that the boundary needs, needs to be adjusted, but that's fine. Now that you play across this fade here, and that's fine. So now what you want to do is make sure you don't adjust the end of the clip here or the beginning. Those have to stay absolutely intact. So now I'm going to select the whole thing, go to Audio Suite, and go to Duplicate. And now I have entire selection, create continuous file. And I'll press render. And that makes a brand new file. Now if I hit select this file and hit duplicate so that it repeats. Now listen what happens when we cross this boundary. It's perfectly smooth. That's because when I rearrange the order of the pieces of the clips, I basically put the front immediately following the, the tail. It's the exact same piece of audio. If I zoom all the way in here, you can see how smooth the transition is. It's, it's literally the same piece. So what you actually sort of want to watch out for is if any of your DAWs that you're using has an automatic fade up or fade out on the edge of a clip boundary, like this one in Pro Tools under Operation, where it says Clip Auto Fade In and Out Length. If you have anything set other than zero here, then it's going to fade even when you have a, a clip like this immediately following it it's going to fade down and then back up and that's just not going to sound right it's not going to be smooth so to be honest i never use this when i'm editing for picture this type of file is really good for video game engines that want to loop a file or for samplers you know where you want to play forward and then back to the front, and then to the end, back to the front again, then back to the front again, stuff like that. But when I see something like this, to be honest, when I see something like this on the timeline, I am trained now to think that any sort of boundary that doesn't have a fade on it is where there's been a picture edit, or maybe sloppy editing, because I'm, I'm just trained to think that this is going to pop. So I want to I wanna naturally dive in and take a look and see if it's going to play smoothly. If I see something that's got a fade on it already, you know, I'm just sort of talking off topic a little bit here. Um, if I see something like this, then I know somebody's stopped and paid attention to it and it's probably going to play smoothly. I mean, there may be some volume automation under, under there that's not correct, but at least I, if I see a fade, I know somebody's paid attention. So sorry about the rambling description about why not to use these looped files, but Occasionally I get the, somebody asking me how what's the best way to loop a file and the way I just showed you is by far the easiest and the fastest that I've ever seen. So hope that helps you and thanks for watching.